Hi, yes, it's me. Uh, this is Mike. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing fine. You? I'm doing great. Really nice to talk with you today. Yeah. Really nice to talk to you, too. Great. So, hey. um... So we're all set here. Wrong. You got it. All right. Well, look, it's great talking with you today, and there seems to be a lot of buzz around Unbreakable right now. I mean, between working with Herman Rearbell, being compared to the Scorpions, and just putting out a really solid, you know, great classic rock metal album. I mean, it has to feel good that you're getting this kind of attention this early on. Well, of course, uh, what can I tell you? For us, it's been surprising how people are... Uh... Yeah, how people uh, listen to music. They they we we uh, got great feedback feedback of what we're doing. The beat is coming out as well, so everyone is uh, talking about it. Uh, the promoter uh, has uh, so many uh, contacts for us, so we're a lot of in, in a lot of interviews, and a lot of people are talking about us. As I've noticed, and so it's, it feels really really great to be. Uh, seeing the results of the hard work we've done. Yeah, the band's been around a few years now. I mean, how hard is it today for a new band starting out to kind of get their name out there and to let people know that you're around? I mean, you have, you know, Facebook and social media, but there are so many bands on there for people to find their way through. Yeah. How do you make Unbreakable stand out in the crowd? Well, I can I tell you the little lot to be in the right place at the right moment. I think first of all, uh, I've, I've, uh, me myself, I've tried with a few bands already uh, before, and it's always uh, difficult because, as you say, there's so many, so many bands that, uh, and so many great musicians that uh, do great music as well. But for us, the thing was that uh, we were playing a lot, uh, and we had a few, a few demos, and we. Uh, uploaded the demos on the internet, so uh, people started liking us a lot, so we said to ourselves, okay, let's uh, record a CD, let's try to find a good producer, and that's how we came to uh, to Herman, who liked our music, he said, oh, you're the guy, so I'm, I, I want to work with you, he came to us, and uh, yeah, we made friends, he liked our music, uh, we arranged the, the songs together, we decided where we're going, we were going to put in the CD, and there we were. Like it worked us for it worked out for us, but it uh, it means a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, uh, yeah years of, of 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 playing and playing and playing and, and learning and, and 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 working hard. Yeah, I well, it's like you said. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of luck being in the right place at the same time, but it also has to have to do with music and writing good music and that's what you guys have done you created a great classic metal album which you know fans are going to love young and old people from the 70s and 80s to the kids of today's generation was it hard finding other musicians that had the same goal and the same drive and wanted to go in the same direction well uh for us uh what I could, uh, there's a lot of musicians nowadays but the thing is uh yeah I try to find uh the the right music because there's many many uh, I think people uh, tend to copy things too much and for us like uh, we were doing we were being true to ourselves uh, uh, of course it sounds uh, we have a, a lot of influence of the Scorpions and a lot of influence of the 80s but that's the music we enjoy and we don't do that because we want to copy or we want to be someone else so we just we just uh, are true to ourselves and do the music that comes from our hearts and and I think, um, yeah, um, it's that, and, and we are like, uh, yeah, musicians, we, we live for the music, we live for making good music and to make it sound great and not, uh, I, I, I don't, we don't want to be standing there and people saying, okay, you probably sound to get, uh, together as a band well or you're well produced, but you can't really play an instrument that many bands have heard that, that you notice that people don't know what they're doing, but uh, for us, like yeah, we we decided to do it well. We decided to do it from our heart, and yeah, uh, do the music we love. That's the music we uh, we've listened to uh, every day. Every day is uh, we we grew up with with this music. It's a little uh, probably a little older than we are. The music uh, uh, we're influenced uh, with, but we are we 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 live for this music. We are uh, yeah. That's what we wanted wanted to do, and and. And yeah, that's um, that's, that's what we're doing now. 
That's that's very important. And you know, like here in America, most of the bands love to go over to Europe, especially Germany, because they feel the crowd and the fans are so much more fanatical over there than here. There's so much better support system in Germany. Is it the same for, for local German bands starting out? Do you feel like that's the best place for a band to be right now because the the biggest part of our scene is over in Europe and especially in Germany today? Yeah, I think it's the other way around for for a band from America coming to Germany and already being um, known in, in the United States is uh, easier to come to, to Germany because people in Germany are always listening to what the Americans are doing, to uh, to what uh, yeah USA is uh, doing right now. So they try to copy a little bit what they do, and if they have a great artist, they bring they want to bring bring everything, and they try to copy it. Here as well, I think it's more than that. But you, if you come up with a with a new with a new thing here in Germany, it's it's a, a lot more difficult I think, and that's why we wanted to go out first because the music. I think there is a few a few rock metal bands that um, a, a very few here in, in Germany that are really known. People, uh, I think they, they don't support uh, that much the music. And so, of course, they listen to the, to the classics, to I don't know, Let's Apple in the Purple, and and a new pop rock band for the teenagers or so on. But uh, when a band who makes a, a classic rock or something like that is new and wants to make uh, this music here, I think it's difficult to co- to come out. I, I know many bands who do that in, in Germany. You don't find the support because, as I said, they are always listening to what's coming and nowadays in the United States, the music that has been played there, and they try to bring the artists from there uh, because that's uh, they they're working well there. So um, yeah, the idea was to go out to the states and 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 and, and try it there and 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 do it there, and then come back here and come come to Germany and 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 try it here. Um, and well, South America, of course, we know. I I, I come from Ecuador, uh, so I know uh, metal, he- heavy metal music, and metal music, and rock music uh, has a great audience in, in Latin America, in Brazil, Argentina, uh, Peru, and, and Chile, and, 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 and many many countries there. And so we we wanted to go there. I was uh, in Ecuador a few months ago as well, and so we had. Uh, I showed my music, went to the radio, I went to uh, to, uh, to TV, to the TV, and I was uh, I was there. People love the music. They love these classic rock songs. Uh, they they say, okay, it's great to know that a guy from Ecuador is doing that. We are so proud of you, and and and, and they're supporting. They're very uh, very supportive and all that. So um, and that's the idea of going out at first, as once the Scorpions did as well, and then. Come back here to Germany because, of course, we 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 love Germany. We live here; it's our country, it's our uh, our place. But it's a little more difficult, I think, to to start here. Yeah, yeah, you know, like you're saying, you're from South uh, South America. South America is a really big stronghold uh, for hard rock yes. and heavy metal. The fans are rabid down. They love the music down there. It's just yeah. amazing, like how strong it is down there. Uh, how did the kids from that end with that in Germany? What, what what was the question? I'm sorry. How did you wind up in Germany? How did I wind up in Germany? Well, I, I went to German school, so I was educated as a German as well a little ah. bit, and then I uh, I saw that it was more even more difficult to um, be uh, have success as a musician there in Ecuador. It's a little even a, a, a little more difficult, and with harder music, the, the music I love with, with rock, heavy metal, is even more difficult. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there was the opportunity to come into Germany, and so I said, okay, I'm going to, uh, to study there. I came here for, for my, for, you know, to study for my studies, and, but I, 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 my, my biggest purpose was, uh, doing music here, and, and so I, I, since I, since moment, since the moment I came here, I arrived here, I, I, I looked for, for a band, so I started always, uh, New projects and yeah, I haven't stopped making my music and and now I think I hope uh, from from my heart that it's 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 going to to work to come out well. Well, it, it looks promising. Everything that's happening to us, how the people are the yeah the feedback as I said from the people everywhere and so uh, we are we are really looking forward to to play to play in uh, live but in, in the states. 
we we would love to go there and play a lot. Yeah, oh, that'd be great. And and well, it's, it's South America, of course. That'll be great. Well, the album is getting get, is going to be released real soon, but I believe it was recorded last year or, or quite a little while ago, right? Yeah, it was recorded. Uh, actually, I um, the whole album was already recorded as I as I went to the studios and, and entered the band. I, I recorded it uh, in March. The guys um, had had everything uh, done, and they had a problem with the last uh, singer, so they were looking for for a new singer. And then they heard they heard my a few recordings of mine, and they they asked me, and I said, "Yeah, of course, why not? Like it, it, it sounds great." And so you're working with this uh, huge, uh, famous guy, so why not? Let's try it out. It's my dream, okay? Uh, so um, that's how uh, we started it out. So uh, it was, yeah, it's been a, it's been a, a I think uh, six months since the, since the album. It's already recorded, like yeah. instrumentally. But yeah, the voice was finished in March, and then yeah, uh, we've been waiting to to for for the video. Actually, we recorded a video. Uh, I think um, April, May, May, on May. Yeah, and and we've been working a little bit so that it, that it looks great. We 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 were working a lot with uh, with the um, uh, director and 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 the people in the edition and and a lot. So uh, we we wanted to to bring a great product. So and now the whole package is is, is 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 finished, and so we are bringing out our album now. Nice. So it was the whole thing we were waiting for the video to come out so that the album can, the album can be released. That's great. I mean, when you went into the studio to record your vocals, uh, a lot of the songs, as like I said, had already been done, but were you able to add your own little take on each song, or did you kind of do them the way they were written this time around? Well, I always do it my a, a little bit of myself, and that's why they loved in the studio. He was, uh, they were really surprised. They uh, they uh, knew that I was a, I'm a Latino. So they were always like, okay, bring the Latino out and, and this and this ballads and this, this love songs. They were really like laughing because of how romantic my 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 voice sounds, and they didn't expect uh, that I that I had this, this approach to the songs uh, like 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 this sometimes. And they were really surprised because they said, yeah, you don't sound so, you don't sound like anyone. You bring your 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 voice. You bring your your way of singing. Uh, Michael Voss. Who was coaching me? Who was, uh, yeah, who was uh, the guy who was behind the desk and 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 giving me the ideas of what to do and 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 helping me a little bit out? Uh, he said, uh, "I've I've never heard someone who sings like you and the way you sing." So, I think that it's uh, great for for the band and for for you, for you guys because yeah, you bring your input, your own input, your own ideas. I was always there before I learned the songs. I had to learn them very quickly. And but I I was always bringing my ideas. What 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 do you think if we we do it like this and not like that? And I'm going to try something. And of course I like to bring my 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 personality and my my warmth into the the, the songs. And that's that's great that that I was allowed to do that as well. That I, and not everything was like no you do it, you do it like that. That's what how we want. So I had my my space for doing the things I. I, I wanted to and, and the way I wanted to because you know I've been I've been I, I've had my 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 experience as well I've been a lot in studios and and of course you learn from here from the from the masters who, who I was working with this time but but I had a little experience as well so uh, I wanted to bring my things uh, to and, and put my my bring my input into the the album and the songs. I think you've accomplished that, and you have a really, you know, a busy summer coming up. Like I said, the album is coming out for everybody in all the different countries. The music video is coming out. Before I let you go out, what else is happening with the band this year? I mean, do you have any shows lined up already, or are you, you looking to set up anything, or maybe hitting the road to go out on tour? Well, I don't want to talk about it still because it's not, it's not confirmed, but probably we're touring with a big guy. Uh, we're we're on that right now, so we're at, in Europe. And uh, well, lot of, lots of interviews, lot of lot of small gigs for now are planned. But yeah, that's that's what what we have. Like from from November, we're waiting here for for the album, for the recordings, to uh, see how it everything works out at the in the in the U.S. 
and 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 see if we if we can uh plan a tour over there and we're we're a little uh, watching the things and and working and seeing what other opportunities we're going to Belgium um next weekend to be on a few shows and festival uh and now we have as i told you this this opportunity that is probably going to come through the tour with a with a big guy i'm not going to tell who that is but uh well it will um if it works out you will uh you will you will think yeah you will you, you would expect what we're, we're going to work with you will yeah uh, we'll, we'll know <laughs> you understand you you'll know who we're who we're going to work with now it's not it's going to it's not going to be a big surprise that's what i what i wanted to say <laughs> that's okay we'll uh, wait yeah. for the news <laughs> that's great Alan, yeah, it was great okay. to, it was great to talk with you today the best of luck with the band Thanks and i hope that you for... can make it here to the u.s it'd be great to see you guys here yeah i hope so i hope so thanks for for inviting me and i hope you you didn't have any problems understanding my english <laughs> and Absolutely uh not. yeah i have a lot of fun <laughs> It came out just fine. Don't worry. Perfect. Uh, all right. Okay. So, see you. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. I'll take care. Okay. Take care. Bye.